The main reasons why I use Generate Press for my WordPress theme is because it's blazing fast thanks to its super lightweight size, only 30 kilobytes, and it has SEO optimization built right into the theme. So if you're interested in a theme that is SEO optimized and is blazing fast, the Generate Press theme is gonna be the right theme for you. So that's what we're gonna look at in this tutorial, how to install this Generate Press WordPress theme on your WordPress website. So after signing up for an account, you'll have a download section and you're gonna to wanna to download the Generate Press theme and the Generate Press plugin. So you can do that from this page here. Go ahead and click download and go back to your account and download the plugin as well. They'll both be zipped files and we'll work with each one of these individually on our website. So let's go do that now. We'll start with the plugin. So if you go to plugins and add new plugin, you can upload your very own plugin here. So go ahead and choose that file from your file system. It's gonna be the Generate Press Premium 1.8.3. So go ahead and install that right now. And that takes a couple seconds. When it's done, you can go ahead and activate the plugin. And there's a couple configuration options that we want to take care of. So click on configure. Um, these are all additional extensions to the Generate Press theme. If you don't think you need them, don't activate them. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to activate them all by clicking the checkbox and hitting apply. Now that they're all activated, we also want to make sure we take our license key here on the download page and paste it in so we receive updates for this Generate Press plugin. Okay, so now that we're receiving updates for our Generate Press plugin, let's take a look at our website. This is how it looks. There's no updates to the theme just yet because we haven't installed the theme. That's what we'll take care of right now. So let's go back into our WordPress admin dashboard and do that. So under appearance and themes, just like we did with the plugin, well, let's get rid of this first. But yeah, up top here, there's an add new button and there's some default themes here. We're gonna click on upload theme, choose the file. This time we're gonna pick the generate press 2.3 zip file and click on install now. This will take a moment or two. When it's done, you can return to the theme page and this is where we're gonna activate the plugin. So go ahead and click on activate and you can customize right here, but we're gonna do that in the next lesson. Let's just see how the theme changed since we installed and activated. It looks a little bit different, but we got some work to do. In the next video, let's work on customizing this theme.